how to add variation swatches in WooCommerce. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I will be showing you how you can get started with adding multiple different swatches on WooCommerce. So let's get into it. Now, WooCommerce is probably one of the most widely used platforms out there to set your e-commerce store, especially if you are using WordPress. So WordPress allows you to create a very customizable product and it allows you to create really anything in terms of a website. So I just have a sample product added over here and it doesn't have any categories and I might want to add swatches of the different color variations that I might be providing. So you can easily add that and what that enables you to do is that you can create a more professional looking, a more easy to use kind of product because a lot of the times that visual appeal is really what makes a converting customer. So let's get into setting up our variations. So the first thing you want to do is go into your product section and you want to add your variation. So you have tags, you have your product and you can just click on edit over here and you can scroll down and take a look at your variation. So you have custom product attributes, you have colors, and like this, I've just saved the attributes over here. So you guys can see there are two attributes. The name is color, the values are blue and orange, and I will save these attributes. And let's go on ahead and take a look at what it is going to look like. So I'm gonna open the link up to see if my attributes or colors have been published. I don't think they have so i'm just going to do it again so i'm going to click on update over here and now i will refresh my page making sure that our attributes have been added so we also have advanced options we have colors and it might take a couple of seconds for your new attribute or categorization to show up but in the meanwhile let's get started with setting up our swatches so for this, you do need a WordPress plugin, but don't worry, it is a free plugin. So to get a free plugin, it's pretty simple. Just scroll on your WordPress dashboard on the bottom left, you have your plugins. Click on add new over here and I will show you guys a free plugin that is amazing for swatches. So this uh, plugin is called Variation Swatches for WooCommerce by Cartflows. So this is the one you want to install. It's a free to use tool and it's super nice and easy. So just click on this, activate your plugin. It takes only a few seconds to set this up. And just like that, we are setting up. So now once you have set it up on the right side, we're gonna go into our installed plugins, just taking a look at where we have it. Yeah, so this is it. We're gonna click on settings over here. And you can see enable on product page, you have global styling, how you want it to be style, the border color, the disabled attribute effect, all that information. Then you have the shop on the styling page, how you want it to appear. And you can uh, allow the display swatch label on shop page. That is what you want to do. Now I want to click on variation swatches over here. Now, once you have your variation swatches, you wanna go into settings. So uh, we have this enabled and we're going to go on ahead and disable when out of stock, going back to our product. Now, just going back in, I'm going to go into my product over here and I'm gonna go into the attributes of my product. So I'm gonna directly click on the attributes and you guys can see the attribute name. So let's say it's color. And then after that, you have custom ordering or name. Then you have the type, so it's color. And we want this to be a circle. And this will give you a variation, um, you know, uh, variation swatches. So from here, you want to click on settings and you want to make sure these are enabled. And you can click on add attribute. And now you guys can see this little attribute has been added. So you can click on edit on this attribute to further edit it. So we have color slug, the type, the custom ordering. So it's name or uh, term ID. I'm gonna keep it at name. It's going to be a circle and I'm just going to update it. Now, after that, I'm just going to go back ahead into my product section, go ahead and open up my product. 
and I'm gonna make sure this attribute has been added so I'm just gonna go ahead and you guys can see your attributes over here so we have colors and with your colors you want to add custom product attributes so let's say um this is a variable product and for variable products you want to use for variations and now we have our advanced settings so once we've added our variations you can create variations from all of the attributes go now after that i can create another variation so i can go on ahead and create a different variation if i want but just to show you guys uh now i'm going to uh, save this product to enable custom settings so i'm just gonna update this and i'm gonna go back and then i'm gonna go into my swatches section and now you have to add your swatches so from here you can click on save you have your basic attribute it's, let's say it's a color now i am gonna go back into my item i'm just gonna open it up and see if my attributes are showing up because for some reason, my attributes are not loading over here, although I do have them in stock. But what you want to do from here is to click on attributes once more, and you want to click on configure items. And once you click on configure items, you can add multiple different colors. So let's say it's orange, and you can select the color from here. So I'm going to just select it from here, add new color, then let's say I have purple i can select a new color from here add my purple add this as a new color and just like that our little product color has been added so once you have these added you can go on ahead and uh, add these to your product so i'm just you know making sure these are added and once these have been completed i can go back into my attributes so I have orange purple added and I want to go on ahead and apply this to my product. So I'm just going to go ahead, go into all products, click on edit, and then we have our attributes and we have our attribute type, the color, you just want to save it from here. And these swatches that you added will now be added to your WordPress site. So that is how you can add uh, swatches into your WooCommerce product. Uh, I'm having some issues with the stock options with my product, so that is why it's not showing up. But you can edit the placement and the global settings in WooCommerce, and that is it. So that is how simple and easy it is to get swatches of your items into your WooCommerce store. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.